Okay, so here's a short video. Uh, something might interest people um, who have a holiday home and they leave it. Um, I often wondered whether it would get so cold that the incoming mains water to the house was uh, so cold it would freeze and cause a leak while I was away. There's no real way of knowing whether that was the case. It's difficult to tell now because it's like 24 degrees and lovely and warm. But back in February it wasn't. It was minus 5, minus 3, minus 2 consecutively at those times. So I thought, let's see if I can find a way of checking and logging the temperature. So let's show you what I've come up with. Okay, so here is my water meter under the stairs. You can see this plastic pipe here. Um, it comes from the street. It's solvent welded. And then it goes into a tap and then into the meter, around the meter, through the copper. And then subsequent to one of my videos, now goes through there and up to the flat upstairs. I often, I always keep it covered with insulation. I often wondered if it would freeze. I'll show you how I worked out that it wouldn't freeze. Although I'm further south, the temperatures at night are pretty low. So they can be low in February is minus five. And there's no heating. And obviously there's a uh, water into the property. Anyway, so I wanted to find out what um, temperature it really gets down to when it's really cold outside. But I'm not here. So, here we go. Got this. So that logs all the temperatures, stores it on a spreadsheet on the drive inside plug it into the computer, download it to a spreadsheet. Should be able to do something good with it and find out how cold it got in here. At the same time, I was monitoring the weather here. And when it said minus four, minus three, minus five, I made a note of those dates. So we can compare, we knew what the outside temperature was, what the temperature was here. And that's where the cold stop top is in there. That obviously hasn't frozen, which is good because I keep it insulated, which is interest really. So um, yeah, let's have a look at that and go from there. Okay, here we go. So I've uploaded the data. So since the 5th of February, up till today, the black line is temperature, the humidity is fairly irrelevant. But the coldest is here, around this time here. But nothing goes below 8. So that's the cold it, it was. And my weather says that... Let's have a look. The coldest time would have been somewhere around here. So yeah, look, 8.2 degrees, somewhere around here. And the early morning of the 13th of February. Yeah. But... The good thing from this is we now know at no point does it go past 8 degrees inside. So that's that's it. That's my uh, mind put at ease. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so now you can see even when it's minus 5, minus 3, minus 2, all that sort of stuff consecutively, it never got down below 8 degrees. Uh, and it really needed to be minus degrees in here for that to freeze. So I can safely say that it wouldn't freeze no matter what. Um, yeah, but 
I thought it might be interesting for you to see you might, if you've got a similar property and it's not heated like this and you're worried about leaving it, you might be all right. Or you could get one of these pens and um, track the temperature and the humidity and you can find out like that. Um, and that's it for this one. Very short and sweet, but I just thought I'd show you. If you like this video, you can buy me a coffee. Uh, con consider subscribing, have a look at my other stuff, especially the new Caesar or the new series I'm doing on going off grid. That's going to be very interesting. It includes um, log, fi log fired heating systems, solar panels, uh, or rainwater storage. All that is going to be included uh, in the new um, set of videos around going off grid. Okay. That's enough for this one. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.